I recently saw the cyberpunk anime on Netflix and it got me inspired to do some VFX. This led me to the brilliant idea to create this cyberpunk eye in a very unique way. The first thing I'm going to need is a close-up shot of the subject. Moving around with your eyes is encouraged as it will make this effect look cooler. Second I need some HUD elements and Storyblocks is the perfect place to find a bunch of those. In After Effects I place my talents footage in a new composition, which you can easily do by dragging the clip from the project panel to the create a new composition icon. Now before anything I need to do some tracking and specifically the movement of the talent's face. Now I'm not gonna use the native After Effects tracking tool. I'm using a new tool but don't worry it's also standard in After Effects. It's called Mocha AE and can be found in the effects and presets panel. Mocha AE is a very good tracking tool which will let you do all kinds of tracking from a simple motion tracking which is free to a more advanced mesh warp tracking which requires a subscription. Don't worry, I'll be using the free tool. So I add the effect to the layer. Then I just need to hit the big Mocha logo in the effects controls panel to open up a new window where all the magic happens. First thing I like to do in the Mocha window is set the layout to classic, giving me every button I need. Next, I look for the pen tool, which is called the spline tool here. With this pen, I'm drawing a rough circle around the eye of the talent. The only thing left is to start the tracking by hitting this button right here. Of course, I keep an eye out for mistakes, so I can intervene when necessary. And once the tracking is done, let's do another one. Because Maka doesn't only let you track motion, it also lets you track shapes and use that track shape to create masks in After Effects. For example, let's trace the eye I'm using for my effect. Of course, I'm making it as detailed as possible. Again, I start the tracking and intervene when Maka screws up. And now our tracking adventure is done. Let's save all our data by hitting on the save button and close this window to go back to After Effects. Back in After Effects, I need a new layer, a null layer. This is an empty layer where I can store all my tracking data and much more. I just right click in the timeline, go to new and choose null object. Then I go back to the talents layer and to the mocha effect. Under the tracking data tab I hit the create track data button. This will prompt a new window showing me the layers I just tracked inside mocha. Now don't be like me and not name your tracking layers to avoid confusion at this very point. But luckily I'm not that old yet to forget that I did my position tracking first. So I select layer number 1 and hit OK. For the export options I choose transform and the layer to export to will be my null object. And now I will hit apply export and bada bim bada boom, my null object is moving perfectly along with the movement of the talent's face. Next up I'm adding the HUD elements which I got from Storyblocks to my comp. Now on this HUD layer I'm also adding the CC sphere effect, creating a ball which resembles the eyeball. See where I'm going here? Now to make the eye follow the movement of the talent I just need to look for the offset property and with the pick whip tool behind the property I'm linking the offset to the position of my track null object and voila it's linked but it's not on the correct spot. For this I just need to use the position property of the HUD layer and place it where it belongs. And now for the cool part making it move with the pupil and here I have some bad news. You need to do this by hand meaning keyframing the X and Y rotation of the CC sphere manually. I didn't find a way to automate this by tracking or whatnot but if anybody who is watching has an idea, let us know. And voila, a moving cyberpunk eye. Next, let's adjust the light properties of the sphere effect, add some glow and switch the blending mode to screen to make it look better. However, it isn't finished yet. I want to bring back the eyelids. Now remember the detailed tracking of the eye I did earlier? I'm going to use that. I'm duplicating the layer of my talent and placing it above everything. Then in the mocha effect under the matte tab, I'm hitting the create AE mask button. This will create two masks of the shape I made in mocha. The big and rough mask I leave as it is. The small and detailed mask I will feather slightly and change it to the subtract mode. This will create an eye shaped hole finishing the effect. Now if you want to learn more about tracking inside After Effects definitely check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.